Since the release of Autopilot 2 hardware, there has been a ton of speculation on whether or not Autopilot 1 would continue to, or even ever receive any more meaningful updates. Well, after driving hundreds of miles with the new September 2019 update, I have definitely noticed some improvements that would suggest that Autopilot 1 owners haven't been left out in the cold quite yet. Number 1. Cresting of Hills The first improvement that I noticed is one that I have been waiting for for a very long time, and that is cresting hills. In Autopilot 1, when cresting a hill, the vehicle would either veer to the left or right and cross the line. Now, after the latest update, when cresting a hill, even though the vehicle starts to go toward the line, it will bounce and snap right back to the center. This behavior is remarkably similar to how Autopilot 2 handles the crest of hills, which it has been doing better than Autopilot 1 for quite some time now. And it's nice to see Autopilot 1 finally catch up. Number 2. Sharp right and left turns. Another welcome improvement has been the ability for the vehicle to make sharp turns. After watching videos of Model 3s make maneuvers like this for months, it feels especially cool to see my Autopilot 1 vehicle doing it. Since the update, my Autopilot 1 vehicle has navigated that intersection perfectly every single time that I've come across it. In fact, on my commute to work, there are several 90 degree turns that my vehicle has miraculously started handling very well. And the only real issue that I've found with it is that because the wheel turns so far whenever it's turning and I keep my hands on it, that sometimes when it snaps back to straight, it will knock me off of autopilot because it feels the resistance. Number 3. Turning Traffic Another big change comes in the way of turning vehicles. Now, when the vehicle in front of you slows down to make a turn, Autopilot no longer comes to a screeching halt and takes forever to get started, making the person behind you want to punch you in the face. It is now very natural with the way it slows down, and then gradually speeds up as the person turns. Now that's a welcome change. Number 4. Moving to the side for oncoming traffic close to the center lane. The folks with Autopilot 2 in the Early Access program have been showing off a feature where the vehicle recognizes oncoming traffic. Although there is no visual indication that the vehicle can see oncoming traffic, there seems to be new behavior with oncoming traffic on non-divided highways. Every time a vehicle would approach, my vehicle would hug the right-hand side of the road and let it pass, then it would gradually return to the center. It also didn't seem to matter whether it was a car or a truck. If the vehicle was close to the center line, mine would automatically go and hug the opposite side of the road. Number 5. Improved Exits Technically, Autopilot 1 has been able to handle exits for a few versions now, but it wasn't until this most recent one that I've noticed a vast improvement. Not only can I now take exits that I couldn't before, but exits that have very, very sharp bends now have a very gradual and very smooth slowdown by my car, allowing it to handle the curve from start to finish without any intervention from me. Number 6. Summon. Summoning my vehicle in and out of my garage on both Autopilot 1 or 2 has never really worked for me. The culprit appears to be this slope here. It doesn't really look that steep, and in reality it really isn't, but for whatever reason, both Autopilot 1 and 2 freak out whenever they get near it. Well, they used to. Now I'm happy to say after the update, both Autopilot 1 and 2 have no problem navigating in or out of the garage when I summon them.
One of the coolest things about owning a Tesla are the software updates. There has never been another vehicle that I've owned that would literally get better every single month via software. And there is something just so unbelievably awesome about opening your door, sitting in the seat, and looking at your change log of all the cool new things that your vehicle can do that it couldn't before the last software update. Well, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and see you in version 10.